Hello YouTube, this is Trono. I am preparing for the introduction of the Autocrafter, as my Hemisphere server plans to upgrade to 120.4 and do the Hermitcraft stunt by adding the Autocrafter via a datapack, and I'm very excited for that. But it leaves me with a very real problem. While I will install the Autocrafter on all farms where I can compact the output, so this iron farm would send iron blocks and not iron ingots, but I have a gazillion of shulker boxes of items that I need to compact. For example, a ton of bone meal, iron ingots, melon slices, bamboo, but also honey bottles and pointed dripstone. But the real issue is my gold farm. I have over 2000 iron ingots here in the storage area that all need to be crafted up. Now obviously I could just hook up a shulker box unloader to a crafter and then a shulker box loader, or perhaps build five of them each and craft away. But unfortunately hopper speed means I can process only five shulkers per hour. And it turns out it isn't too complicated to ramp this up to six times hopper speed or 31 shulker boxes per hour. And this is the contraption here. Now this will be replaced with the autocrafter. So let's switch to a creative world where we, you know, actually have the autocrafter already. We throw the shulker boxes into the storage silo. They all end up in this chest and then everything is automatic. This is the shulker box unloader, the usual one from Summers to Sage, but going into a minecart and distributed over six hoppers to give us six times hopper speed. I did a tutorial on this shulker box unloader if you want to check it out. It's really easy to build. And then we have three dropper lines sending the nuggets into the crafter. And they are powered by this observer clock. This observer clock updates these observers here, powering all of the droppers. Each dropper operates at double hopper speed, so this is in total six times hopper speed. And on the other side, we read the crafter. And if the crafter has a signal strength of nine, gated by this comparator here, we activate this 12 game tick clock or six redstone tick clock. And this powers the crafter in exactly the interval that we can handle. So the items come in exactly at the same speed as we craft them up. And of course, this gate here makes sure that we craft only stuff if the crafter is full. So if these were iron ingots, we wouldn't end up, for example, with iron bars. And the output just goes into a shulker box loader here. And the shulker boxes go into one storage silo. And we have another storage silo for the empty shulker boxes. Also, of course, you must put in enough shulker boxes here to load this. Now, the sixth time speed comes from the restrictions of the crafter. It has six sides and we need one side to shoot out the items and one side to read and power it. We could probably input items from four sides, so also from here, at observer clock speed, theoretically going to eight times speed. But I believe six times speed is much easier as with eight times speed, we run into trouble designing the correct clock to power the crafter, making sure that this clock does not interfere with the dropper putting in the items in here. And also the shulker box unloader for six times speed is really easy to set up with three dropper lines going in from the sides here. I think six times speed is fine. Now you could increase this to eight times speed, but you would have to come up with a much more complicated clock to power the crafter at the correct times. So here, if I have a couple of double chests, I will just grab them into my inventory and throw them into the storage silo here. But for the gold farm, I had to do something different and you already see the unloading station here. I built a temporary loading station here in the nether where I load a minecart full with shulker boxes. When the minecart is full, it goes to the portal and the next minecart is dispensed. And the minecart here comes out of the portal, is moved by this track to this drop chute here. And since there's a rail at the bottom, we can stash any amount of cards in this one spot. So these are like 50 chest minecarts. And then they are unloaded into this temporary silo and the shulker boxes go into the crafter. And once all of the shulker boxes are crafted up, I just have to remove the remaining items from the auto crafter here, which could happen if the shulker boxes are not full and we don't have a multiple of nine. 
And then I will just need to hit this button here for the shulker box loader to get in a new shulker box. And then I can load the next resource, for example, bamboo into the storage silo. Also, this is in the area covered by the chunk loader for my storage. So I can set this chunk loader to permanent. Right now it will run only if items come in and process the items while I am not on the server. So the 2000 shulkers of gold nuggets should take about three days to convert and no longer three weeks. I thought I'd just share this contraption. It's pretty easy. Maybe you plan to build something similar. So there you go. This is my solution to this particular issue. Of course, the eyesore behind me will be removed once all of the shulker boxes are successfully converted. And after that, the items will just come in in compacted form directly from the farms. So thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Subscribe not to miss any videos and see you next time. Bye bye.